negotiations with Amazon for Megan's new audiobook and podcast venture have fallen through. An Amazon representative refuted the idea of a deal with Megan, characterizing her concepts as uninteresting. Meghan's PR agency has recently disclosed that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle intend to recover the millions they lost from Spotify through a new partnership with a rival online audio service. Their business advisors have been engaged in discussions with Audible, an Amazon-owned audiobook and podcast platform that boasts renowned figures like former President and First Lady Barack and Michelle Obama. Meghan has also been personally reaching out to A-list celebrities, such as Julia Roberts, to explore potential collaborations for the relaunch of her website, The Tig. According to insider sources, Harry and Meghan are in the process of reshaping their strategy, retrenching, and preparing to reposition themselves as significant players across various multimedia platforms. Anticipate a vigorous effort from them in the coming year. The Duke and Duchess's spokesperson stated that Meghan's podcast would continue, cryptically hinting that Meghan is actively developing more content for the Archwell audience on a different platform. However, an Amazon Studios representative has now publicly denied the statement from Meghan's team. It's worth noting that the validity of this article is questionable, as it's based on the opinions of an alleged PR expert hired by Meghan Markle. The notion that Meghan approached A-list celebrities like Julia Roberts is dubious, as A-list figures are typically selective about their associations. The Sussexes did engage in discussions with Amazon, and their talent agency, WME, is participating in the talks. Nevertheless, it's unlikely that a deal will materialize. While they may need to offer audio projects to Audible first if a deal is struck, they would then have the freedom to market them elsewhere if rejected. Amazon, however, is unlikely to follow Spotify's example, as Megan's podcast is viewed as unoriginal and not innovative. The Sussexes, who are considered talentless and of little significance, faced a significant blow in June when Spotify prematurely terminated their £16 million contract, citing a meager output of only a dozen podcasts. The much-anticipated relaunch of the TIG appears to be indefinitely postponed and may never materialize. As for the podcast, unless they come up with fresh and compelling topics, it may be challenging to garner interest. Their previous difficulties with Spotify stem from a lack of commitment to content creation, and unless they change their work habits, it's unlikely they will secure a new deal. They are not A-listers, and their prospects of achieving A-list status seem dim, primarily because they openly discuss matters that prominent individuals typically avoid, and their trustworthiness is a matter of debate. Meghan and Prince Harry's official website, Archwell.com, has not been updated to remove references to their deal with Spotify. Whether they intentionally retain Spotify's name on their website introduction remains uncertain. Notably, the couple spent only one hour a week on their charitable endeavor, Archwell, according to a recent tax filing. A source previously claimed that Meghan aspires to become a senator or even a future president of the United States, despite her brief tenure as a royal. However, some reports now suggest that Meghan may not have the resilience to endure the criticism inherent in a political career. Royal expert and author Angela Levin, who frequently criticizes Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, is skeptical of Meghan's political aspirations due to her perceived sensitivity to public opinions and criticism.